Starting with the latest coming in from the United Kingdom, tensions in Eastern Europe have of course caught the attention of all NATO nations. UK, France, Germany and the US are doing their best to de-escalate tensions with Russia. But for the British Prime Minister, it's not just one war that he's trying to avoid. Boris Johnson is facing perhaps a bigger battle on the political front on his home turf. And it's not just the opposition benches that are up against him. The rebellion is growing from within the Tory party as well. A damning initial report by the top civil servant in the country, Sue Gray, into Downing Street parties, especially during the lockdown, was published on Monday, and it condemned failures of leadership and judgment of the Boris Johnson government. Now, Tobias Elwood has become the latest Tory MP to say that he wants Johnson out of the top office. The Conservative lawmaker will submit a letter of no confidence in the Prime Minister, Elwood joins his colleague, Peter Aldous, who has done the same. On Wednesday, during the Prime Minister's question and answer, Johnson faced intense grilling in Parliament. Lawmakers accused him of diverting the glare from his party gate scandal by hiding behind the Ukraine conflict. The Prime Minister is now a dangerous distraction at home and a running joke on the international stage. Yeah. Tell the Prime Minister and the public that in the morning that he has returned from Ukraine, the Chair of the Defence Select Committee has submitted a letter of no confidence in him. Mr Speaker, what, uh, it, it tells me that it is more vital than ever uh, for the government of this country to get on with the job, deliver our COVID recovery plan, and that is what we are doing. The British Prime Minister, however, asserts that the situation in Ukraine is risky. Back from a short trip from Kiev, Johnson assured that the UK will stand shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine. Everybody knows about 125,000 uh, Russian uh, troops massing. Uh, the situation is, is very perilous. And the job of the UK is to lead the West in bringing together uh, the most important countries in uh, creating a package of economic sanctions that will deter President Putin from what I believe would be a disastrous miscalculation and also to strengthen our support uh, for, the Ukraine, uh, for the Ukrainian people and indeed uh, the Ukrainian army. And uh, we're doing that. We're supplying... While the UK stands in full support for its ally Ukraine and promises a robust deterrence against Russia, what's to look out for is how politics play on on the domestic front. And for a better understanding of the same, our correspondent Laura McInay Sherwood joins us live now from London to talk in detail about Johnson's recent troubles at home. Laura, thanks so much for joining us on Beyond at this hour. My first question to you, how valid is the criticism of the current British Prime Minister that he's in fact trying to raise tensions in the Ukraine crisis amid his own domestic troubles? Well, I mean, that's what many of his critics have been talking about here, whether he's trying to use it as a bit of a distraction to the domestic crisis that he is facing himself. Of course, after that report was published, uh, written and submitted by Sue Gray, that top civil servant that was looking into what happened in Downing Street over the course of the pandemic when lockdown restrictions were in place across uh, the rest of England. After that has been published, and we now know that she's found evidence of around 16 parties that took place, there. Twelve of those are now being invested, investigated by the Metropolitan Police. There have been plenty of people calling for Boris Johnson to stand aside uh, and resign, step down from his position as Prime Minister in order to really get rid of those accusations and admit that he had done something wrong. The Prime Minister, though, is standing firm. He says that everybody needs to wait for the results of that police investigation. And yesterday, as you've said, he headed off to Ukraine to meet with Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky to discuss the ongoing tensions there. Now, of course, critics are capitalising on that, saying that he is indeed uh, moving away from his troubles in London, heading off to deal with other business. However, there are his supporters that are saying that actually this crisis supersedes the situation that is taking place in Westminster right now, that actually focus on that situation is paramount, that the UK needs to come alongside other NATO allies as well to show that support right. for Ukraine. So for supporters, they're really hanging on to that. 
Right, now Laura, let's talk about the controversy that Johnson is currently courting. It's not just the opposition within uh, the country that has now called on Johnson to resign. The rebellion seems to be growing from within his own party as well. How do you see things moving on from here on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Two more Conservative MPs are known to have been submitting their letters of no confidence to a group of MPs called the 1922 Committee. They oversee whether leadership con uh, contests should be signalled and started. We understand around 20 letters have now been submitted. 54 need to be submitted in order for that leadership contest to be triggered. So we're still a little way off yet. But one of those people who submitted a letter today was senior Conservative Tobias Elwood. He's a former defence minister himself, now the chair of the Defence Select Committee, which looks into how uh, the government responds to different threats and looks at how it uses its, its military uh, and defence systems. He has come out and said he can no longer defend this government and this prime minister itself. So he's now another voice adding to that uh, growing list of names that want the prime ministers to stand down and resign. Right, Laura, thank you so much for joining us on We On with all those inputs. We On World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.